Insulin resistance is a condition where your cells don't respond well to the hormone insulin, which helps regulate your blood sugar levels. When you have insulin resistance, your pancreas has to work harder to produce more insulin to keep your blood sugar in a normal range. Over time, this can lead to type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and other health problems. But how do you know if you have insulin resistance? It's not always easy to tell because the symptoms can be subtle or mistaken for other issues. However, still, there are some early warning signs that you should never ignore because they could indicate that your body is struggling to process sugar. Here are seven of them. Number one, you feel tired all the time. One of the most common signs of insulin resistance is fatigue. When your cells don't get enough glucose, they can't produce enough energy to keep you going. You may feel sluggish, sleepy, or unmotivated throughout the day, even after a good night's rest. Number two, you crave sweets and carbs. Another sign of insulin resistance is having a strong appetite for sugary and starchy foods. This is because your cells send signals to your brain that they need energy, so your brain makes you crave foods that are high in sugar or carbohydrates. However, this only worsens the problem because it causes a spike in insulin, which then lowers our blood sugar levels again, creating a vicious cycle of cravings and overeating. Number three, you have trouble losing weight. If you have insulin resistance, you may find it hard to shed those extra pounds, no matter how much you exercise or diet. This is because insulin plays a key role in fat metabolism and storage. When you have too much insulin in your blood, it signals your body to store fat instead of burning it for energy. It also makes you feel hungrier and less satisfied after meals. Number four, you have dark patches on your skin. A less known sign of insulin resistance is a skin condition called acanthosis nigricans, which causes dark, velvety patches on your neck, armpits, groin, or other areas where there are skin folds. This is caused by the excess insulin stimulating the growth of skin cells and pigment. It may also be accompanied by skin tags or warts. Number five, you have high blood pressure or cholesterol. Insulin resistance can also affect your cardiovascular health, increasing your risk of high blood pressure and high cholesterol. This is because insulin helps regulate the dilation of blood vessels and the production of lipids in the liver. When you have too much insulin in your blood, it can cause your blood vessels to constrict and your liver to produce more cholesterol and triglycerides, which can clog your arteries and raise your blood pressure. Number six, you have frequent infections or slow healing. Another sign of insulin resistance is having a weakened immune system and a slower healing process. This is because insulin helps fight inflammation and infection in the body. When you have too much insulin in your blood, it can impair your immune cells' ability to respond to pathogens and heal wounds. You may notice that you get sick more often or that your cuts and bruises take longer to heal. Number seven, you have irregular periods or fertility issues. Insulin resistance can also affect your reproductive health, especially if you are a woman. This is because insulin influences the production and balance of hormones in the ovaries and uterus. When you have too much insulin in your blood, it can disrupt your menstrual cycle and ovulation, causing irregular periods, heavy bleeding, or infertility. If you notice any of these signs of insulin resistance, don't ignore them. They could be warning you that something is wrong with your metabolism and that you need to take action to prevent further complications. The good news is that insulin resistance can be reversed in most cases with lifestyle changes such as eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, losing weight, managing stress, and taking medications if needed. At the end, remember that insulin resistance is not a disease itself, but a risk factor for many diseases. By addressing it early on, you can improve your health and prevent diseases. 